Hello, in this video, we will show you how to set up and configure the Epson EcoTank ET2850 printer. We will show you how to unpack and configure your printer for the first time so that you can get started with printing and scanning your documents using the Epson EcoTank ET2850 printer. To start setting up your Epson printer, follow this guide and proceed step by step as you move along this tutorial. First, open the packaging box and take out the printer unit from the packaging box. Then, remove all the protective materials including any sealing tape from the printer's outer body. Take out the power cord and connect it to the rear end of the Epson printer. Connect the other end of the power cord to a nearby electrical outlet. Now you have to choose a setup method. The Epson's very own app known as the Epson Smart Panel is a powerful and interactive tool to help you set up and configure your Epson printer. There are two different methods to configure your printer. First is by using your mobile phone. The second approach is if you do not prefer to use a mobile device to set up your printer. In that case, you may skip to the section where we will be guiding you how to fill in the ink tanks of the printer. If you choose the first approach of using a mobile device to connect your Epson printer, then download the app Epson Smart Panel from the App Store. Once downloaded, do not open the Epson Smart Panel app yet. Press the power button of your printer to turn on your Epson printer. Wait till the printer powers on and completes its startup operations. Once the printer becomes idle, open the Epson Smart Panel app on your mobile device. Launch the Epson Smart Panel app and then follow the easy step by step instructions to aid you in connecting your Epson printer to the network. Now that you have connected your Epson printer, it's time to fill the ink tanks of the Epson printer. Let us show you how to do so. Before we proceed, please take note of certain points and treat them as critical. First, ensure that no ink gets spilled on the printer. Also ensure that no ink gets spilled on the inner parts of the printer while you are filling the ink into the ink tanks of the printer. To avoid permanent stains, please remove the spilled ink using a damp towel. If the ink gets spilled on your clothing or belongings, then it may not be possible to remove. Number 2. Make sure to keep the ink bottles out of reach from children and ensure not to accidentally drink any of the ink. If any ink gets in your mouth by accident, thoroughly wash your mouth and get rid of the ink inside your mouth without gulping during the cleaning process. So now that we are aware of the precautionary measures, let's move forward in filling the ink tanks of the printer. First, raise the scanner unit. Open the ink tank cover and then open the cap for the black ink tank marked as BK. Unpack the black ink bottle marked as BK. Hold the bottle upright and slowly turn the bottle cap to remove the cap. Insert the ink bottle into the filling port of the ink tank. Wait for the ink to fill the ink tank. Please wait patiently for the process to complete and do not squeeze or press the ink bottle while it's doing its job. When the ink tank is filled, remove the bottle and securely seal it using the bottle cap. Repeat the same steps for the other three ink tanks. After that, close the ink tank cover and then close the scanner unit. Now, raise the control panel and then press the power button on the printer. The printer will now turn on and the power button's LED will blink. Once the printer has completed the startup process, select your language from the control panel of the printer. When an Epson Smart Panel Setup message appears on the control panel, select that option to continue setup. When a message to see Start Here link appears on the LCD control panel, press and hold the Help button with a question mark icon for 5 seconds. Follow the on-screen instructions to start the ink charging process. The ink charging process might take around 10 minutes to complete. You will know when the ink charging completes by following the power button's LED light. 
that light will stop blinking when the ink charging is complete. Till then, please be patient and also make sure not to unplug or power off the printer during the process as that might waste a lot of ink and cause the printer to malfunction. When the ink charging is complete, press the OK button to continue. Follow the on-screen instructions for further alignment and making sure to get the best print quality out of your printer. Now that you have completed filling the ink tanks and also finished configuring the printer using the Epson Smart Panel Setup app, let's proceed and fill some paper into the printer's tray. First, you must ensure that the ink charging process is fully completed. Then, open the printer's feeder guard, raise the paper support and tilt it at an angle to fix it into position. Slide the paper edge guides all the way out, fully opened. Load your preferred paper into the printer's paper tray unit. Then, slide the edge guides to fit against the paper's edges, but not too tightly so that the paper can freely flow through the paper tray. Now, carefully pull out the printer's paper output tray from the front. Select the paper settings from the printer's control panel display. Please remember to follow the printer's user guide to understand information regarding paper tray's capacity and how much paper and which paper types or paper densities should you load into the paper tray. Now, coming back to the tutorial, now, once the paper tray is loaded with plain paper, the final step is to install the Epson printing software. Let us show you how to do that. Make sure that your printer is not connected to the computer. If you have received a product CD or DVD, insert it into the CD DVD ROM of your computer. Otherwise, visit www.epson.com slash support to download the latest printing software. Once downloaded, open the software installer. Then, follow the step-by-step -step instructions to install the printer software on your computer. When you see the Select Your Connection screen, choose whether you prefer to have a wireless connection or a USB connection. For wireless connections, in most cases, the software should be able to automatically connect to your wireless network and configure as appropriate. You may need to enter your Wi-Fi network name or SSID and its password. If you prefer to set up and connect through a USB connection with the computer, then select that option. Make sure that you have a USB cable with proper terminals. And that is it. Once finished, your Epson printer should be all configured and ready to use. We hope that you found this video helpful and wish you a great day. Contact us for a superior tech support and printer support experience. Call us at plus one eight 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 five five seven three eight nine nine.